one part hikers, one part high heels. I'm a mountain girl always looking for the next adventure. This is where dreams are made. Dreams that are meant to be shared. From peak to valley, from snow to sun. I'm Nicole Fitzgerald and this is The Fitz List. Doing everything you've ever wanted to do. This is the sound of happy dogs. So rest easy in your sled. What once was horrific has now transformed to hope. Our dogs are very well cared for. We've changed the kennel drastically of what we've done. We've free run all our dogs, we've fixed all our males. Generally our dogs are extremely happy. Change has been a big part of these dogs' lives recently. They are among the 151 survivors of the Whistler Outdoor Adventures Massacre. The company received worldwide condemnation when a suspected 50 to 100 healthy dogs were slaughtered two years ago. The sledding operation was gifted to a new charity foundation and the Whistler Sled Dog Company was born. We offer dog sled tours for guests. We are owned by a foundation, the Sled Dog Foundation, which all our proceeds go to. And then from there, the foundation then allocates the money, the profits of the proceeds to other charities or bettering the life of sled dogs. Next up is Dumbledore. Dumbledore is just a four-year-old, pretty crazy, lots of energy. He's going to be doing all the power today, pulling all the sleds. Asking dog sled musher William Jackson to name his favorite dog is like asking a mother to pick their favorite child. I have 151 favorite dogs. <laughs> Smarties, she's getting pretty old. She's almost eight now. Um, her name's Smarties because she has two different colored eyes. She's part of the chocolate bar litter, so every time we have a litter, we have different themes for each litter. And her litter, like I said, was a chocolate bar, so there's Mars Bar and Score and Twix and Lucky and Smarties. Every single one of them has a different personality and it's just a great feeling to work with them and see how excited they are and live off their energy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is harness the dogs. Okay. So I'm going to give you a harness right here. All right. And I'm going to take a harness as well. Guests get to experience that energy on an interactive hands-on tour. There you go, Smarty. A dog aptly named Hurricane excitedly drags me over to the sled. The dogs love what they do. They, um, this is what they're born and bred to. They've been doing it all their life. And it's like when you say walk to your dog, they just get really excited. Same thing with us. As soon as they see that the sleds are out, they're ready to run. The dogs run us along rivers and landscapes framed with mountain views. But soon my viewing experience shifts from a seated to standing perspective. The well, dog says it's very simple. You have your handlebar right here. Okay. You can always hold on to your handlebar. You never let go of your handlebar because these dogs will just go whether you're on the back or not. <laughs> Next up, you have this nice metal bar here. Very high tech. It's uh, called your brake. All you got to do is slam that into the ground to stop the side. Okay. Then you're going to be standing on your nice runners here and holding on. So as easy as that. <laughs> How the tour mushes out is as unique as company aspirations. The Whistler Sled Dog Company aims to become a leader in their field, contributing to the standardization of dog sled operations and raising the bar on sled dog care. We're looking at doing quite a few different sort of projects. Um, one of them is to sort of create a better living atmosphere for dogs. So we're going to study our kennel and see what changes we can implement to better off their life, as well as we're going to look at their diets. We are going to offer everything that we've studied and learned to anybody that is interested in um, just listening to us, what we have to say, and take what they can out of it to better off their kennels. Better kennels means better lives, which means happier dogs and cleaner guests. There's lots of opportunities to interact with the dogs, including when you wrap up the tour at the yurt with a nice hot chocolate and cookie. You may have to share it. <laughs> Sharing the love is what this company is about, and you only need to look to the dogs to know this tale comes with a happy ending. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.